Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over setting up ENB and Sweet Effects with your Fallout 3 game. Now, I thought I'd do a separate video from my other setups for the ENB and Sweet Effects, as I recently had to update the files due to a Windows 10 update that caused some problems with the DX files. So I'm actually going to go through the process here, and you can actually get it at both ModDB and Nexus, and I'll go over the two setups as they're slightly different depending on which website you get them from. So the first thing that you'll want to do, and I'll actually leave links for the mods under the video here, is get the files that you'll need. So if you're going to Nexus here, you'll just want to go to Files, and then Download here. Now you do want to download these files along with it, so open the link in a new tab so that you can download those files at the same time. So we'll download those and download this. And then we have the two files. Now, if you want to go to ModDB, you just have to go to the download now here and download the file. And I'll download both sets so that I can show you the difference here. Okay, so we have the files that we'll need. So I'll start with the Nexus one here. So that would have been the one here and this one here. So we'll open the additional library files and we'll just minimize that for a moment and then we'll open the Nexus file here. Oh, sorry, that's actually the ModDB one. So let's open the Nexus file. No. Is that right? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I did open the Nexus one first. That was my mistake, sorry. So once you've opened the Nexus download, if you're getting it from Nexus, you'll have the two RAR files, one with the D3D9s and the other with the files that you want to place in the game folder. So depending on the version that you have, if you have a Steam version, you can just go to your Steam library and then you would just click on the game and say properties and then go to local files and then you would click the browse local files and that would open up the game folder. Now I have the GOG version installed right now that's why the browse local files hasn't come up but you can do that with any of your games here. Let me just show you with this one that's installed. So local files and browse local files and that would bring up the game folder. Now there is another way of doing it which takes a bit longer and you just go to this PC, C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common and then you'll find your game folder there and you would just go into your game folder. Now I'm using the GOG version and if you have the GOG version you just want to click on your GOG, go to more, manage installation and show folder and that will bring up the game folder. Or if you prefer you can actually do it through my PC, I'll show you here, this PC, C drive, program files, GOG Galaxy, and games. And then you'd find your games listed there and you would just open up the game folder. Now once you have the game folder open, if you're using the Nexus version, you would just drag and drop these files here into the game folder. And then with the Alt D3 D9, you can drag and drop that into the game folder also. 
Now what you want to do is open up that Alt D3 D9 folder. And there's four different launchers here. And you want to start with the Black Mesa and just copy this. Don't cut it. Make sure that you copy it so that you keep the backup of the original. And once you've copied that, then just paste that into the game folder here with your other files. Now start your game at this point and make sure it's working. If you do have any issues with the game launching with the D3, D9, DLL, then just go to the Alt folder again and select the next one down and copy that and just paste it over top of the existing one here. And you can go through all four. Normally the first two should work but just give them all a try if you have any difficulty getting it to run. Okay so that's basically the um, Nexus version. Now if you downloaded it from ModDB sorry wrong one If you notice with the ModDB version, you actually have the Alt D3 D9 folder already included, and one of the D3 D9s is already set up in the files. So in this case, if you downloaded it from ModDB, then it would just be a matter of dragging and dropping it into the folder. And that would basically be it. If you had any difficulty starting the game at this point, then you could switch the D3, D9 with the alternatives here. But you don't have to actually put the initial D3, D9 file in place as it's included in the ModDB version. So that's just the differences between the two. Basically, the one just requires that you add the additional Alt D3 D9 and extract a D3 D9 to the folder if you're using the Nexus one. Now, I'll just go over a few things such as the settings and stuff. Now, if you want to alter the Sweet Effects settings, you don't actually use the Sweet Effects file, setting file, for doing that which is here. You would actually go to the Sweet Effects folder and the presets and you'll find the Fallout 3 TXT file here. And you can make any of the adjustments that you need here. Now the SMAA I used to have that on but it does cause a darkness issue for some users because of their graphics card but if you'd like to use additional SMAA you can enable that line but if the game does become dark then turn that back off as well you can alter the settings any way you'd like here and if you do replace the settings file then set it in the presets here and rename this to something like Fallout 3 old and then rename your new settings file to the Fallout 3 text name so that it will accept the new preset. Now as far as the E and B, if you suffer from any FPS problems or um, stuttering, then you can go into the E and B series I and I and you can make alterations here, but what you would want to do is change the allow anti-alias to zero and then save the file and that will normally correct any FPS or stutter type problems when you start using the E and B. Now one thing I do like to do with my games is adding the game EXEs to my CleanMem program and I will leave a link under the video here for setting that up and if you have already set it up then you'll be familiar with the process and that's just a matter of going down here and right clicking on the CleanMem and then starting the CleanMem settings wizard. And what you're going to do is go to the only list that we created in the setup video. 
Now once you get here, you want to copy the game EXE names, both the Fallout Launcher and the Fallout 3 EXE. So just copy the name and then just click the plus on your only list and paste that in. Say OK and you'll see that it's added to the list. And you'll want to do that with both the Fallout Launcher and the Fallout EXE. As well, if you add the script extender, you'll want to add that to the list also. And it's just a matter of copy, paste, and OK, and it's added to the list. Now, once you're finished, just click Next and Finish, and the clean mem is all taken care of. So that's basically it. Other than there is one thing I'd like to mention for GOG users. When using ENBs and such, you do want to turn off your in-game overlay. So what you want to do is pull up your GOG and go to the settings. And once you're at your settings here, just uncheck the in-game overlay box. The cloud saves and the auto updates shouldn't affect anything. No, there aren't really any updates for the game so you shouldn't need that checked off um, but if you want to use cloud saves that's fine but the in-game overlay does have issues with EMPs and reshades and such so make sure that you turn that off with Steam you don't have to disable any of the settings just run it normally and you should see it running in the upper left at the game start to verify that it's running once it's running in-game then just use the pause break in order to enable and disable the effects. Now, if there are any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.